Right folks, how are we all? I've not done one of these for a while, been very busy. I'm going up in the loft in a minute to get some stuff out so we can put it somewhere else. Now, it's Tuesday, March the 12th of 2024. And um, I've, I've not done one of these rants or whatever you want to call them. It's just my opinion, yeah? You either agree, you don't agree, you fucking do what you like. I don't care, right? But I like saying what I say. Now, as you've seen from the thumbnail and the thumb title, this video is about Carol Vorderman, or as Alan, uh, not Alan, uh, Alex Belfield used to call her, Carol Vordenorks. Um, it's quite funny really because um, Alex Belfield used to talk about Carol Vorderman ages ago. Um, in fact, he used to talk quite a lot about a lot of people, uh, but now he's all locked up, isn't he? I wonder why he's locked up. I wonder what else he knows that uh, is dangerous to the uh, other people in the uh, higher up in the food chain. Uh, you do have to wonder about that sometimes. Uh, and it's good to wonder, it's good to think about things and that way you come up with a conclusion. Um, but anybody else noticed how Carol Vorderman seems to think that she's speaking for a majority of the country? Um, she, she's got this thing at the moment. Um, she, she used to have her photos taken with David Cameron and Boris Johnson and now she's very anti-Tory. And the way she's going about it, she actually seems to think she's got it in her head that she's bringing the Tories down with her tweets and her little fucking uh, London radio bloody show. Yeah. She tweeted, the vast majority in the UK, uh, the vast majority in UK are kinder and more tolerant than the rabid right. Times are changing. Love heart. Fucking shit. Um, because she... Because... If she thinks, because like she tweeted, what are the, what, uh, she went about the rabid right, weren't she? And I'd love to know what the rabid right are. Because if she thinks this lot in power, the Tories, are right wing, then she better think again. Because this Conservative Party is anything but right wing. I have never known in my 55 years of living such a pathetic an attempt of being Tory. And I will say the same as well about Labour. Labour are not left wing. They're just fucking, they're just, they're, they're just there to appease to people and they're nothing. They're absolutely nothing. There is nothing between the Conservative Party and the Labour Party. They are both are a disgrace to their history. That they are. They're fucking useless. And I shan't even bother with the Lib Dems. Now, Carol is apparent. I've done. A, I've been on the internet, and it says like you type in the name, don't you? And you find out what their net worth is. And apparently, she's worth around fucking four million pounds or something. So, is this another case of Carol just going along with what people are saying with their woke ideas and stuff, so that you don't mention their wealth? Is that what it is? It is a little bit like Gary Lineker because he's got enormous wealth, but while he's banging on about letting immigrants in and all this, he's thinking people won't notice my wealth. Well, people do notice your wealth, Gary. They do notice your wealth as well, Carol. But she's there at the moment, she's going on, she's, she's fucking rabbiting on about talks of government corruption, right? Government corruption. Well, well fucking done, Carol, well done. D tell us something that we don't fucking know. Yeah? Tell us things that we don't know, Carol, that this is... There's always been corruption in government. You can go back to the days of Ted Heath and fucking Harold Wilson. This is not nothing new, Carol. You're not actually bringing anything new to the table. Ain't you not? And if, if she thinks that by getting rid of the Tories and putting Keir Starmer and all these fucking loonies in there, is going to make the blind bit of difference, then she's absolutely fucking... That, she's just got no idea of what was going on. Apologies, the dog's seen a squirrel. But she's talking of this corruption, and she really does seem to think that Kaya Starmer will do something different. It won't. They're all the fucking same. They're all the same. They're all corrupt. 
Yeah. Just let's, I'll tell you what. Gulf Wars. Why? Wasted no end of money. People died. Destabilised the East. Fucked it. They're all coming over here. Weapons of mass destruction. Were there any? David Kelly. Suicide. Corruption. The Afghanistan war. What was the fucking point of that in the end? Gain. Hundreds of people dying. Causing fucking unrest. Saddam Hussein killed. Why? He ruled the country. That's how it was. We've just gone in there, gone into Afghanistan. Billions and billions of pounds and dollars just to run away. Yeah? All the other countries around there, they've been and invaded. And what's happened in Afghanistan? The Chinese have come in and taken it over. They've gone in and bought the place instead of invading the place. Yeah? Covid. It's all coming out. It was all fucking... The year it was a virus. It made people ill. It made me fucking ill. And I thought I was dying because of the media bullshit. And then, like, Carol's going on about, oh, the Tories made millions on these fucking PPE. Of course they fucking did. Of course they made millions. These people who are fucking related to Tories and stuff. Of course they did. Yeah? And then it's like she's done all the corruption of the Tories and the PPE equipment and deals being given out. Of course. But if anybody said anything, if anybody said anything on social media, we got fucking struck down. I've had so many bans on Facebook because I spoke out about the COVID thing. Yeah. There's a certain word you say on YouTube. You get fucking strike. Horse drug. It's just bollocks. It's all corrupt, Carol. It's not just the governments, the whole thing. This platform's corrupt. Facebook is corrupt. You're living in a fucking dream, love. It's not when they, used to, when they said to us, oh, go and buy a diesel car, but diesel cars are brilliant. They're, they're more clean and the more pr the, the better for the environment. And then fucking 10 years later, everybody's got diesel. Oh, no, you're all fucking Satan's child. You're all driving around in a diesel. You better get a petrol car. Now what's happened? You don't want a petrol car, you don't want a diesel, you want a fucking electric car. It's all corrupt, Carol. Will you open your eyes, love, and start talking some sense? Yeah? Ukraine war, there's another one. It's corruption. Zelensky's got billions or millions, he's got lots of money. Yeah? Ukraine's one of the most corrupt countries in the fucking world. Prostitution, money laundering, drugs, armour. And we just keep sending out billions. We've got people in this country who are struggling like fuck to survive. And we just keep giving billions out all over the world. All over the world. We'll be invading Russia next. There'll be flying planes over Russia. There'll be planes out there now getting close. And they'll be saying it's to stop World War Three. Yet they'll cause the fucker. Why don't you question that, Carol? Why don't you question about where all the money's going to Ukraine? Yeah. Why don't they question? Why don't you question why why we the people? All right. We they say people. Oh, you voted them in, so they do it now. No, I didn't vote them in to give billions of fucking pounds to Ukraine. Everybody else who voted didn't vote to put these in to give billions of pounds to Ukraine and then just like, why is it, right, Boris Johnson and Rishi Sunak can just turn around and say, oh, well, we're going to give uh, two billion pounds worth of aid to Ukraine because we're going to stop Putin. But you ain't fucking stopped him yet, have you? You ain't stopped him yet. Any thoughts of still having a chat with him? Yeah? No, no, you won't do that, will you? And then you've got MPs who are putting in claims expenses for everything they can. Yeah? It's just a, it's just a joke, Carol. Anybody who's, you know... And then, then the other... The, she's just saying this so she can be popular with the people. So people tune into a radio station. Yeah? Because that's what it's about. It's about viewing figures. And she'll say what she wants to say. And they'll just look, tune into her. It's a, way, it's a way of celebrities preserving the career. She hasn't got a career now. Countdown kicked her off. 
So now it's about preserving your fucking, your career in that way. I mean, this is, at least me, I'm doing this, I'm not getting paid by any station. This is just me sitting here. And it's like many others. It's like ex army ass, boot, uh, boot neck, mayor to say. You know, they're all independents. They voice the channel. They don't go and get massive contracts to go and sit in a fucking posh radio station that's got air conditioning and heating and people bringing you coffee and stuff. Yeah? She, uh, she was on Good Morning Britain the other day, or really Bullshit Morning Britain, because that's another fucking joke company TV station, isn't it? Um, she was celebrating on International Woman's Day on how inspiring she is. Has she ever, right, here, I'll put your comments down below. Has she ever inspired you? Please put in the comments. Yes, Carol has inspired me. No, Carol hasn't inspired me. Inspired you to do what? Get fake tits and Botox? But when Carol was on there, you see, she wouldn't, all she did was talk about the corrupt government. Yet part of the corrupt government was GM uh, Good Morning Britain pushing the COVID narrative. So why didn't Carol ask G, ask that Ravi, Mr. what's his name, Citizen Khan, can't remember his name. I thought he was quite his daughter, were fucking stunning in that, weren't you? Oh, one that wore the headscarf. Um, why didn't she ask the important questions that people want to know is why did Dr. Hillary tell people it was only, you had to wear a mask while swimming in the sea? Was it to protect the jellyfish and the sharks? and the fishes, so they can get COVID, wearing a paper mask in the sea. How fucking stupid is he, or are we, to believe that bullshit? So why, Carol, didn't you ask about that? No, you wouldn't do, would you, sweetheart? Because it's not in your career benefit to do that. But I'm telling you now, you get a lot more respect out of people if you did actually ask that. She had a bit of a ding-dong with Greg Hans, didn't she? But that didn't come out of that very well. So, you know, but it's not Carol that's doing the fucking up of the Tories. It's the Tories themselves. They're fucking useless. They're absolutely fucking useless. It honestly wouldn't surprise me if the Tories are really planning on lose, planning to lose this election because do they know something that's going to get happen in this country and it's going to get worse and the Tories are thinking, fucking don't, I just don't want none of that. We'll let Starmer have it. We'll let Jimmy Savile's mate have it. We'll let the post office master um, crown prosecution. We'll let him have it. Sort this fucker out, mate. I mean, she's banging on about how Labour are doing so well in the polls and she's on about how the Lib Dems will come second and the Tories are going to get wiped out. And she seems to fail to mention that reform and all these independent parties are also gathering fucking momentum because... People have actually had enough of the main three parties. Well, you can't really call Lib Dems a party, can you? They're just a fucking joke. But people have had enough of the Conservatives and Labour. And I personally think this will be an election where these independent parties will get more votes than ever before because people are absolutely fucking fed up. The, the, Carol Vorderman's banging on about vote Labour and all this, yeah? Well, I think people have had enough. I hope people have had enough. In fact, there's another one. Put in the comments down below, folks. Have you had enough of the main three parties? Yeah? Because I have absolutely fucking done with them. Done with all the parties. I will vote independent anyway now. Don't even care if I do, agree or disagree. I am not voting for them cunts. Oh, said that. Somebody else said that on a beer review, didn't they? <laughs> Scott. Um, so, yeah. But she won't mention the fact that reform are getting a quite good in the polls now. She doesn't seem to mention that, does she? You know? But I don't know if some of why people are really going to go for fucking reform because after Richard Tice pushed the vaccine and he went and did his little trip to Ukraine, I'm pff, fucking dickhead. <sighs> Everyone's allowed an opinion. So I've got my notes. I'll refer to my notes. Um, everyone's allowed an opinion. I, I voice my opinion. I'm quite happy to voice my opinion. But she really does think she's special. Um, because, like I said, she was happy to have a photo taken with Boris Johnson and David Cameron that time. 
Yeah, was she trying to get a dame or something or what? I know she's an MBE, but whatever. She was angry over the fucking breathtaking um, drama on ITV of talking about the COVID, yeah? And it was the PPE thing that she's right, and it's good. she's right. But, it was obvious that it was gonna happen. Why do people trust politicians? It's hard for me, that one, because I, I can't say I trust politicians, but I thought politicians go out to make it an improvement for the world. But my missus says, no matter who's in, it doesn't fucking matter. And it doesn't matter. Whoever's been in power, yeah, nobody will do anything for you apart from yourselves. You get up, you go to work, you earn your money, and that's it. Everything we've got, right, well, nearly everything we've got, well, whatever. You know what I mean. Up to a certain point in my life, everything we got was through hard work and everything, yeah? Yeah? Paid my debt off. We paid the mortgage off. All the cars and the, the vans are ours. All paid through for our own, by our own money, yeah? Nothing to do with the government. Nothing to do. They'll put fags up, drinks up, fucking electric up, gas up, petrol. Everything will go up. The government don't do anything for you. They just think. They tell you that you're doing it and people believe it. We don't need politicians in a way. We certainly don't need 630 or 650 of them. That we don't. We don't need that many. Unbelievable. Absolute joke. But Carol will just talk about anything to be popular. She'll just jump on the bandwagon. She'll just jump on the bandwagon to be popular. To be liked. Everybody wants to be liked, don't they? Everybody wants people to agree with them. But I think it's coming to the stage now where people are had enough of being liked and agreed. They just want to voice their opinion. Lee Anderson's left the Tory party. And I watched his uh, speech or his, his interviews. They're fucking brilliant. They just fucked Beth Rigby off, weren't it? Go on, you can fuck off, woman. Yeah. Don't say I particularly agree with everything that Lee says, but at least he's voicing his opinion and not hiding. Yeah? So, so fucking what? But Carol won't. Why didn't Carol talk about people's freedoms being taken away during COVID anyway? Yeah? I bang on about COVID. People say, oh, you're banging on about it. Oh, yeah, you're fucking right. We should never forget what them fuckers did to us. They stopped people from seeing fucking loved ones dying. Yeah? You weren't allowed to sit on the next to them in the bed because of what the experts were saying with the worst case scenario. Why don't Carol do that? Why don't she ask questions about that? You want to be so fucking good, Carol, then do it. Yeah? Why doesn't Carol talk about first plus? Now, you're probably all saying, what's first plus, Dave? What's first plus? First plus was a loan company that was supposed to consolidate debts in 2006. The Consumer Counselling Credit Service, the CCCS, who helped me get out of debt when I was 30 grand in debt. Done a couple of videos on it. If you're in debt and you're struggling, you need to pay your debts back. Go and have a look. And the Money Education Charity Credit Action said Vorderman's profile could cause people to think debt consolidation was suitable for them when it was not. Because Carol's got m mathematical expertise, expertise, yeah, it made people trust her, yeah. But on an investigation carried out by the BBC, One's, uh, BBC One's real story found that First Plus was prepared to lend people more than the equity they had in the property, putting consumers into negative equity. So come on, Carol, let's talk about loan companies, yeah? You don't want to talk about them, do you? It's all there, folks. Go and look it up on the internet, yeah? Carol says she's the voice of the people. Is she? Really? I don't know. She just... Pfft. I don't, she's certainly not speaking for me. She's certainly not speaking for a majority of people, I think. So, she could actually ask questions about the jab as well, couldn't she? About excessive deaths after the jab and people being injured. But she can't do that because she had a photo taken having a jab. So it's like, there's corruption. And then she was pro promoting it, weren't she? She's part of a tactical group called Stop the Tories. People using their votes just to stop the Tories. It's tactical voting um, where you just vote for anybody to get that party in so the Tories leave. Now, I think the Tories need to be kicked out. I think they were an absolute joke and atrocious. 
But if you have a landslide, as it's being predicted at the moment, and I don't think Labour's done anything, to be fair. I don't think Labour's have done anything different from what they were doing ages ago. I think it's more the fact that the Tories have self-combusted on everything. But to have a landslide and have such a majority that fucking big, yeah, it's fucking dangerous to have a majority so massive where you could have, I don't know, 400 seats a majority. It's fucking dangerous. That is dangerous to fucking democracy. They could just go throwing in any laws and rules and what you don't agree with. Yeah? Where you could actually end up in prison for saying something and speaking your mind and they turn it into a hate crime. What the fuck is going on? That ain't... That ain't very bright to do that. I'd love to see her I'd love to see her interview somebody like Russell Brand or John Campbell or probably even Lee Anderson. Get them on. Get them on an interview. She seems to have well, she's got Lee Anderson and she has great joy calling him 30p. So, dunno. So there it is folks, that's my little video uh, on Carol. I don't dislike Carol, to be fair. But I just can't be doing with all these celebrities that are coming in now and thinking they, they know it and they can change the world. It's just, really? When it all it is is about, you know, the RAF uh, fucked her off as an ambassador for a certain reason. And I just can't be doing with all these celebrities coming in and doing it. I, I mean, I don't consider myself a celebrity. I'm just doing YouTube and I can voice my opinion on a platform that's here and there. But these people are going on these things. It's like... I don't know, it's just, just fucking wrong. It's quite funny really because me and the wife were talking yesterday and I said, I could become an MP. If I've got the funds, I could actually become an MP and win an, win an election, win a, a seat. It's that, you know, you could do it. There's one for you, Carol. Why don't you put yourself up for a fucking seat and then change the world properly? Laters.